there, I'm Dia Curtis, and I wanted to show you how I use my Gamel Statler in the computerized mode to make big circles on quilts to create secondary designs in the background. Now typically, I love custom quilting, and normally I do it hand-guided, but sometimes it's just a whole lot easier to use the computer to make nice perfect arcs, perfect circles. And I want to show you how to do that. It's very, very simple. So I'm using these big circles on Klonda's quilt. And I quilt those in with the computer and then I fill in the background area with freehand design. And I want to show you how you can easily make these big circles with just a couple simple clicks with CS7. So this is just the simple circle that we're going to quilt with CS7. You could maybe see it a little bit better without all the background quilting. I've used two layers of batting, which is why these blocks really puff up. And to be honest, I'm not sure why I'm going to quilt in them, so they're waiting. Here, let me show you how to do this. So this is the block we're going to make our big circle around. We need to make some registration lines or marks. I'm just going to make a mark in between these two points. There it is. In between these two points, it's already here. And in between these two points, I need one final mark down here. And these will make sense when I click out my circle. is my CS7 computer screen. This is my tool strip. These are my drawing tools. Draw arc, draw curve, draw line, and draw freehand. If my tool strip doesn't look like your tool strip, that's fine. It's because I've customized it by right clicking on the tool strip itself and saying customize tool strip. When you click that, a whole new screen opens up and there's all these different options and I've just chosen these icons and moved them over here. It's very simple. Play around with that someday when you have time. So what you're going to do if you want to make nice circles is you're going to choose draw arc. Draw arc makes prettier circles than draw curve. So draw arc and now a whole new screen, a little box opens up down here. This is our action box. And we're going to click out our arcs with the head of the machine. So we've selected draw arc over on the computer screen. And now we're going to click out our points. So remember those little registration marks we made? That's where we're going to click. Click once at this mark. Click. Now we're going to click down here at this mark. And if we look over at the computer screen, we'll see that there's a nice half circle on the screen. Now we have the bottom of the circle to click out. Move the head of the machine to this point and back to the last point or the one we started with. You choose, it's a circle. And I heard that little noise, and now there's a perfect circle on the screen. Are you ready to see the machine stitch out the circle that we made? All we have to do is hit 
start quilting. We could tab over from the head or just use the computer. All right, here it goes. Bring up our thread. So what do you think? C circles are easy with CS7. It's just a matter of knowing how to use the software. And if you noticed, I was using my hand to kind of manipulate the quilt because there's two layers of batting, so it's fluffy. I just wanted to make sure that my machine didn't stitch through my points. So you're gonna have to use your hands still when you use you know, the draw line and the draw arc feature. Well guys, I hope you Try this out and see what you think. You know, don't be ashamed, don't be afraid to play. Have a great day.